Okay, here we go. It is Friday the 14th of April. It is the Friday after Good Friday. And this is a little bit of an update at 5NR. We are cracking on with the kitchen and garden. Here's the kitchen. Toilet's going in here. Toilet here. This is being taken out and supported slightly differently. And we'll have a sliding door here and a stud wall to hide the pipes that will then feed the water, uh, the sink and the toilet. Um, then we're into the kitchen. A uh, little bit of trickiness with the kitchen. Uh, this wall on the left has got a little bit of a belly in the middle. So the, the roof line, we're tight, tight at the um, ground level, we're tight, but there's a little bit of a belly from sagging over the years. So what we've done is we've sistered and stitched the joints. Sistering is extending the joints into that wall because as the walls moved, the original joist in the center had fallen, uh, well, fallen, had, um, had stayed in position and wasn't as deep into the wall as we'd like it to be. So what we've done is we have dug around it, we have extended these sister joists, the two new, either side, and they are in. We have used clamps that are tied to the middle joist. We have bolted sisters through each other into that uh, middle joist, through the middle joist as well, uh, and then cemented them into the wall. That is the stitching. So the stitching is tying it into this side, tying it to that side so that there's some level of tension across that beam which should hold this wall in position we didn't need to sister um we didn't need to stitch every single one but we did need to extend every single one so that's what we've done um you will see that this window is now gone that one is still to be bricked up it's the old toilet and if the light were on which i'll turn on now You'll be able to see a little bit more. Good idea, Dad. Um, there's the waste pipe that will extend and feed our toilet just here. This was our kitchen. We've, done the, we've dug this level down because of shocking drainage to the far side. Um, the joists under here just went completely rotten. Uh, I'll show you the other side, but um, you can see there the bricks are pretty knackered and the joists under here were terrible too. Here's the old gas pipe which fed the Washing machine, here's our existing gas, uh, gas, uh, sorry, gas here, and hot water and cold feeds here. Uh, we've got our plumber coming back today to chase those into the wall so that they are sat further in so we've got a bit more space for the kitchen. Uh, door and window, window's gonna go here, that's gonna be really fantastic, starting at this little hole here, which is about 40 centimeters. So we've got a 37 deep cabinet uh, and it's got open, uh, room to open and it's going to be one meter 40 from there to about here um, Now Coming into here, coming out We have dug the garden. So This is what we can see. We're going to be renewing um, We're going to be putting type 1 hardcore all along here and then cement Still some digging to do today um, But look at the type 1 hardcore uh, cement uh, probably an inch of adhesive and then patio tile. Um, there's going to be a slope from this end down to this end. There's going to be a drain that goes along this line. And there'll be a returning slope from this side. Ever so slight gradient. It's not going to be visible really uh, or immediately obvious. Uh, this is going to be tidied up as well. But you'll see here, um, this was the lowest point, this section here. So whenever it rained, water would pool here and it couldn't go anywhere. So the only route was into the wall there. So if you think during the winter, every frost, every chill, that water is going to expand as it freezes, cause cracking uh, in much the same way that it does um, to the roads, causing potholes. So uh, what else we've got our drainage pipe here that is for appliance waste, it goes through here can see it's bagged there to not get dirt in uh, and that feeds into the main sewer out into the road uh, this is to be opened very slightly that's an 1100 wide doorway 
um, was window that needs to become a 1200. This is to be ripped up and stitched with heli bars. So um, if you see, this is a whole brick. This is half a brick. This half a brick needs to be removed, placed by a whole brick. And that will mean that the wall is tied in much more neatly. Uh, with heli bars, there, is, there will be rods that will fit into this wall and tie the new brick wall will be here into this brick wall you'll see a pretty showy uh it looks all right here actually looks all right here reasonably tied in probably no heli bars not sure but on the inside you will see that it's not being tied in the same way and that is not a great job from a structural point of view going to use those posts i'll tell you about those later these are from the old redundant garden fence there you can see that there is no uh, tying between the new and the old brick you've got to line all the way down here and they they're not they're not tied in together so that's a vulnerability so i need to remedy that <sighs> da, da, da. finally a few, bit more digging um, we're going to do some gardening whilst we're here. This bush has got way out of control, so that's going to be coming out. I'm going to have something new potted. Um, rose bush at the back. I'm not sure. Uh, it might keep it, might not. And, yeah, that's, that's where we're up to. So, yesterday was day two. That's in the skips. And today we have got two more coming it is i think it's just coming up to seven in the morning so i'm told we're going to have this one outside um taken away on uh about seven seven thirty and another will be replacing it at around 12 so busy morning filling it up catch you next time